Troy McDonald with Coldwell Banker Realty here today. Today I want to talk to you about either renting or buying and, and uh, comparing the differences between the two. I actually just published a blog and I'll put a link to the blog uh, in, the, uh, in the post for this uh, video. But, but I, really before we really get into it, we need to talk about some of the difference and where you want to be. At the end of the day, it's about what you want. So you really need to look at what your life goals are, what your real estate goals are, what your objectives are before you make the decision to be a, a, a renter or a buyer, especially if you're going to do it long term. So now that being said, let's just talk about a couple of the differences. With renting, uh, one of the nice things about renting, your, your entry into the rental market, your costs are relatively low compared to purchase. First month's rent, a security deposit, maybe last month's rent, maybe a pet deposit, uh, if you have pets, and, and, and then maybe some insurance for your possessions. I always recommend getting renter's insurance to protect your possessions. Um, second thing with renting, your costs are predictable. Um, you, know, you know what your monthly rent's gonna be, you know how much uh, your, your utilities generally are, and you know how much your insurance is. And there, it's, that's it, you know, but, uh, just one of the downsides to renting, you know, uh, when your lease is up, your landlord can uh, increase the rent and can also re not renew your lease. And that can become a problem if you're really happy with where you're at. Generally, if you're with uh, at, a, at an apartment complex, uh, they want to renew your leases. And as far as rent increases, they're generally fairly predictable, though we have seen sometimes recently where they haven't been and we've seen big increases. So, but definitely want to keep an eye on that. Um, one of the other things about running that is an advantage is if you are changing careers or looking at possibly having to move from city to city or state to state in order to advance your career, renting is a great opportunity because then you're not tied down to a house or a condo, a townhome, whatever it is that you were to purchase. So. Look at all of those options before you decide what you want to buy. Again, this is a decision between you and your family unit as to what is best for you. So let's talk about buying. The upfront costs are definitely higher. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you're going to be looking at a down payment. Uh, and the size of the down payment will be probably depend on the type of financing you go with, whether it's FHA, conventional, VA, whatever there is. By the way, there's some great new um, new products out there for, and some grants coming from the state under uh, some of the legislation passed this year, especially, I believe, for firefighters, police officers, and um, other, other uh, public service sectors. So always check those out to help with your down payment and with your closing costs. But then you also have uh, appraisals, fees, survey fees, um, all kinds of things, you know. So you just don't know what all you're going to have, which is going to ultimately going to um, tie up, tell you how much you need to. When you talk to your real estate professional, get yourself a buyer's agent to help you buy a home, to help you navigate all of these things. I'm happy to help you with that, but there's a lot of good agents all through the state of Florida and right here on the Treasure Coast that you can go to. So make sure that you get an agent because I believe that's one of the best things that you can do to protect yourself as a buyer. Next thing, predictable cost. Of course, your mortgage is predictable. You know, you know, you sign those papers, your mortgage is going to stay. And if you sign, say, a 25 year or 30 year mortgage, you know what your mortgage is uh, going to be for the next 30 years. So that is a predictable cost. What is unpredictable is taxes and insurance, maintenance and repairs. So that you do need to be putting money aside to be prepared for those events when they do happen, because they will happen. You'll need a new roof and you'll want to remodel the kitchen or uh, a hot water heater goes out, air conditioner goes out. In Florida, you do not want to be without an air conditioner or for very long. So you do need to take those into consideration when you are uh, purchasing a home. But the upside is you're building equity with every payment and generally he, uh, a real estate appreciates and it appreciates by somewhat of a predictable amount. So at the end of a 30 year period, you look at how much rent that you paid over 30 years, 
how much money you paid in uh, interest and repairs and maintenance. It's, uh, and then you add in the appreciation. And I will bet that generally you're going to come out ahead with ownership over renting from a financial perspective. Now, before you make these decisions, you need to sit down again, like I said, with your family unit, your partner, wife, spouse, girlfriend, parents, whoever it is that you're that you're looking at doing real estate with and advancing this, whoever is your advisor with your family and decide what is your what is your long term goals? What is your strategy? Then get with a financial advisor, a planner, a consultant, your accountant. Uh, make sure that everything is all on the path that's right for you. Once you get there, or I want to be here to help you find your home. So whether you're looking to buy in anywhere on the Treasure Coast or sell on the Treasure Coast and buy a new home, uh, I'm here for you. If you have any questions about any of uh, this, please feel free to call me. My number is 772-260-9458. I'm available for all real estate calls on any topic real estate. Again, Troy McDonald, 772-260-9458. I look forward to hearing from you if you need any more information on this. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And there'll be a link to my blog on renting versus owning in this post. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today.